One of the signings is actually from a viewer like you. Also, after that, we have an announcement from Tom DeLong that could change UFOlogy. Stay tuned. Our first UFO sighting today comes out of Miami Beach area in Florida, and this UFO was described as being a large cube-shaped UFO, larger than a lot that have been seen before, and the viewer described it as hovering at first and fluctuating in colors, and he took footage of it both in regular lens and then he zoomed in to look a little bit closer, and he said he noticed that the structure did change, and then it began moving, and he has various recordings that start early in the evening and go to where the sun is starting to come up. So he spent a lot of time on this viewing and take a listen to what he has to say about it. It's not a star, it's not a planet, it's too close or it's too large. Um, it looks to be uh, It looks to be pretty large. Um, and I don't know the exact size, but I'm just checking to see if it moves. Seems to be just hovering there. Um. So cool when a ufologist is willing to take the footage and then describe to us what they're seeing. Because a lot of UFO footage takes time to collect, and sometimes people sit there for hours. Uh, so thank you for this. Now, one person have observed this video and suggested that maybe what is being seen here is Arcturus. And Arcturus is known to change color to green, white, and red. However, that doesn't resolve the issue of the cube shape that we saw in the zoomed in photo. And also the person who took this footage is saying that it doesn't look like any familiar stars or planets and clearly is somebody who regularly looks out to that sky. What do you guys think? Certainly a lot bigger than a star. And it's a lot brighter than a planet. That certainly is not the behavior of a planet. Uh, there's actually two orbs, I think. Um, I'm gonna move around a little bit here, get a better view. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's fluctuating in all kinds of colors and stuff. It did move from its previous position, but it's moving very slowly. Watch next as the object begins to move. And as you notice, the sun is changing in its horizon. I wanted to catch a video. It's uh, above the clouds, it's moving pretty fast. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't have any airplane lights. Uh, no, it's behind the clouds. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty high. Now it's just hovering again, I think. Yeah, it's, it's starting to hover again. Thanks to that UFO enthusiast who spent hours tracking the object and describing its movements from being motionless to moving rapidly and changing color. Thank you for that. Next up, we have a video from a viewer of Shed Show Talk. It's a viewer submission. This, this UFO sighting came from Bristol, United Kingdom. Uh, so thanks to Matt for his submission. And let's have a listen to what Matt said is going on. So Matt said in his area there's no military bases or operations in the area, that the evening was relatively clear, and that basically what he did see he wasn't able to catch on video as well as he was able to catch on camera. He spotted some strange lights in the sky in the same direction on several occasions previously, and he was able to capture some footage on this particular night. He said that the lights kept fading, appearing, disappearing, and one of them retained a reddish coppery tint. And at one point, he counted 12 to 15 of them altogether. He indicated that they are close to the horizon and not to be confused with the street lamps in the area. And you can see some of his footage. Have a listen. This ain't right. I do not know what this is, but this ain't right. I'm going to check it out on my star charts when I get in. But it's sitting there and it looks like three objects but my vision's really um, I'm trying to get as much 
footage in case it suddenly vanishes, disappears, God knows, but I saw three, four, five of these weird balls just hovering in the sky in exactly almost the same direction I'm pointing the camera now. For zoom in it kind of goes blurry, but maybe a little bit. Basically it's a clear night. Um, I can see tiny pinpricks of stars. Um, there's nothing in the sky this bright at the moment. Just, I live in a city with like, you know, major streetlight pollution, so you don't get really nice clear view of the stars down here. So something that bright in the sky. What is happening in the skies, guys? We all need to be looking out at the moment, because there's some, is that like a flash in the sky? Or a, I see a red light, I'm seeing the little lights there. Oh my God, is this, what's going on? Sorry, this, this. I, I'm seeing a red and a white and a orangey light in the sky in the area where I saw them the other night and where that thing just was. I need to get a better angle. I need to get a better angle. We'll find an angle that shows they're way up in the sky now. You've got to be able to see this somehow. This <sighs> video. What you're hearing there is Matt's genuine excitement. Something is happening in the sky. He's seeing UFOs. He's not sure what's happening. He wants to understand it. And you know what? If you guys ever see anything like this, make sure to capture it on camera and share it with us because we're all eager to find out what's going on. Right, things just vanished again. So, like, right, yeah, that keeps happening. Oh, Look, can you see that? Like flickering, flashing on and off. Like I'm going to come back here tomorrow. I'm going to mark where the spot that I am standing. I'm going to come back here tomorrow in daylight and record from this angle, take pictures from this angle, and the angles that I've been hopefully trying to remember where I've been. Everything to the left of this is the lights in the sky. That, these are the lights in the sky right now. The focus is going, so let me just get something else in focus quickly. Wow, so thank you for that viewer submission. That was a great sighting, and it was neat to see the one light and then, of course, the multiple lights going on. And as you could see with this footage, as we could with the previous footage, people did recordings over several hours, and that shows the level of dedication that it takes to be someone who sees, believes, and records UFO sightings. So thanks to Matt. In this story based out of Texas, someone went into their backyard to go look at the snow moon. They looked up to the east and turned and saw this bright object in the sky. They watched it get bigger and bigger, and then it was moving side to side really quickly. Uh, then this person decided to take a photo and start filming it. And during this process, it stopped. And there were really bright lights shining down on the witness. Witness at that point decided to go in the house. What do you guys think this one is? I mean, if I were have to be honest, if something was glowing in the sky and then there was light shining down on me from that object, I would think about going indoors and uh, reporting it to somebody, which is exactly what this person did. And look at that photo. I mean, that, that orb is incredibly bright and you can see the motion trail in that photo. Before I wrap up this video, one thing I must talk about is Tom DeLonge. He has made an announcement that within 60 days we will have information about the UFO phenomena. Some believe that might include information about aliens. Tom has been obsessed with the concept of UFOs. He's been to Area 51. He's also written a 700 page book, worked with the Department of Defense in the United States. He's worked with NASA. He's worked with others and he claims he's worked with over 10 government officials. And if you've been watching the leaks coming out of WikiLeaks, you might also know that his name even showed up in some of those emails with national people because he was so interested and involved in this subject of UFO disclosure. So I'm not sure what the future holds, but Tom DeLong could be a game changer and we could get the long awaited for truth about what's out there and what's up in the sky. Remember, if you see something in the skies, hit that record button and tell Shed Show Talk what you've found. See you next time. I'm Beth.